Hello everyone and welcome into another video. So today we're talking about something very special. We're going to go ahead and talk about I-bonds. The reason why they're so special is because they pay about 9.62% annually right now. So we're going to go ahead and discuss about the interest rate that they used to pay over the course of the last couple of decades. We're going to talk about the current rate, about how to purchase them, and we're going to discuss what the I-bonds are. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that I would like us to do is to take a look at this chart. On May of 2022, it has been announced that the dividends from the I-bonds are going to be about 9.62%. And then if we zoom out and look at the historical data, right? So from November to April of 2022, uh, the dividend on the I-bond was about 7.12%. Now in May it was 3.54. And while we are not going to go over every single one of them, uh, we're going to make this document available in the link uh, of the Discord chat below. But we can see that in 2015, it used to pay zero. So it's adjusted for inflation. And if we go down all the way to 2000s, we're going to be able to find one of the highest interest rates at that time, which was about 6.49%. There's also in May of 2000, it was paying 7.49%. That is the highest it went over the course of the last two decades. And then if we go back again to May, it's currently paying 9.62%. So right now it's paying the highest interest rate over the course of the last two decades. So now what is I-bond? Let's go ahead and discuss that a little bit further. So if you go to Treasury Direct and go into the Research Center and click on the I Savings Bonds, you're going to be able to find this information. So we're going to read this real quick. So the initial interest rate on the new series I savings bonds is 9.62%. You can buy I bonds at the rates through the October of 2022. So that through the October of 2022, for the next six months, you can secure this interest rate. There's going to be an example a little bit further just for a better understanding. So let's move on. So I bonds can be purchased through October of 2022 at the current rate. The rate is applied to the next six months after the purchase is made. The example of that is if you buy an I-bond in July 1st of 2022, for the next six months, the 9.62% would be applied through the January 1st of 2023. An interest rate is compounded semi-annually. Now, you can only purchase up to $10,000 in I-bonds for each calendar year. And if you buy I-bonds, um, that when it, it exceeds the limit, you're going to be automatically refunded additional funds that you had invested over the course of 16 weeks. So you would not want your money to be stuck in the limbo. So just keep track of how much money you are actually investing on the annual basis onto the I bonds. And there's a lot more information that is available on this page, which I would strongly suggest everybody to do their own due diligence and research. But if you scroll down, you're going to be uh, able to find all those limitations that we talked about, right? So for electronic purchase, because you can buy electronic or paper um, I bonds. And so for electronic, the minimum is 25, the paper is 50. For electronic, the maximum is $10,000. Now, as we are continuing to talk about this, it's very important to realize that there's a lot more information to be learned. And this is a very, very simplistic video about how to purchase it, the basic understanding of it, and how much it has been paying over the course of the last two decades. So now on this note, let's go ahead and talk about the process of registering and actually purchasing your first I-bond. So in order for you to do so, just go ahead and click on um, my account, and then you're going to be able to see the login, open an account, and learn more under the Treasury Direct. So for those who do not have an account, just click on open an account, go through each one of the steps and you're going to be able to open an account. In the step number one, so choose the type of the account that you want to open. So let's go ahead and click on apply now. You're going to choose the individual. If this is just you who is trying to open an account, you're not a business, you're not some um, other entity besides just you yourself opening an account that you want to invest um, your money towards your own name. So now you're going to click on individual, then click on submit. Once you're done with that, just fill out the application. You would need to provide your name, your last name, your social security number, your date of birth, and then you're going to move on to address, city, state, zip code, provide your phone number, your email address, make sure that you get that email address. It's going to be very important because you're going to receive the automatic uh, one-time password once you're logging in for the first time and you have to confirm that. 
uh, just retype your email, type in your bank account, routing information, account number, uh, retype that account number again, and then account type, which is just the checking. And then move on to, the, to this box. Just read this carefully. Make sure that you're validating all the information that you're providing. Check mark right here, click on submit. The next page, I'm not going to show it to you because you have to confirm that the information that you're providing is correct and it's going to save it in the system. And what you would want to do is on the third step, you're going to actually validate your account. You're going to click on one of the pictures that you will just create for yourself and you're going to create a little phrase that helps you signify that that's exactly you. Let's say that you have gone through the process of it, you had confirmed it with your one-time password that is sent to your email, and then you had gone through the process of actually fully registering your account, which would include one more step after that, which is creating your official password. So you would want to write that down, save it, and then use it for your future logins. Now, once we are done with the registration process, just click on login. So once you're logged in into your account, this is exactly what it's going to look like. It just has your basic information and you are going to click on buy direct. And once you're done with this portion, you can read over each one of the securities that you can purchase. But in our case, we're going to click on the Sirius I under the savings bonds and you're going to click on submit. After that, you're going to be redirected to your main page where you're going to type in the amount between $25 to $10,000 for your purchase of the I-bond. You're going to select the schedule, whether it's going to be a single uh, purchase or it's going to be a recurring purchase or just a scheduled purchase. And you are going to click on submit. I'm not going to click on that, but the window after that is going to prompt you to verify that information and fully submit it then that amount is going to be taken out from that account that you have typed in the information before. It's going to take normally about one business days for you to complete that purchase and for the uh, bond to show up in your main account and your bank account to be charged. And now in order for you to earn that interest, you have to hold your I bond for at least one year in your account. If you decide to take it out between one year and five years, you're going to be charged a penalty of the last three months of the interest that you had earned. If you decided to invest for 18 month period, and you had earned your interest already three times, right? So after six months, after 12 months, and after 18 months. And so if you decide to take the money out after 18 months, you're going to lose that three months of interest at the very, very end. And then you're going to be able to take out the investment body as well as the interest earned, but it's going to be three months less from the actual period. I hope this makes sense. Now, in order for you to sell the I-bond, all you need to do is go to Manage Direct, then click on Redeem Securities, and then you're going to click on Sirius I savings bond. So once you put the check mark here, again, don't have anything here, it's still pending. You're going to click on submit, then you're going to be prompted to the next page to verify the amount that you would want to withdraw, and then you're going to complete the transaction. Then it's going to be deposited directly into your account, and within your treasury direct, you also have the 1099 in order to report your taxes. So that should also be very, very easy. Uh, but just keep in mind that the more information that you do the research on, the easier it's going to be at the end of the year for you to do your taxes. So 1099 div is going to be provided by Treasury Direct. On this note, that's all that I have. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I try to keep it very, very simple. And if you want more videos like this, feel free to subscribe, connect with me through YouTube channel. And I hope you have a great day. So thank you very much. See you next time.